Hello everyone, Mr. MC here back with another video and this is going to be more of a channel update video So I'm not really going to talk about what's going on in the video But if you do want to know what we're looking at This was my very first daily race in six months And I think this was recorded on a Tuesday So group one at Le Mans where you have to do a mandatory pit stop and it's uh, well, it's pretty much a Group C meta race, except I think it's the Mazda 787B, that's the go-to car. I know the Sauber Mercedes was good for a time trial, but it's not as good in race pace, and I find that out <laughs> I find that out the very hard way, as I'm already starting to lose positions. But I'm going to talk about what happened while I was away from YouTube, and I guess you could say away from GT7 as well, and what made me come back. And I guess what I'm gonna do with this channel from now on, and the other channel that I have, the the Mista MCA account, as I get a half second track limit penalty. But while I was gone, I was basically, well, just at work, <laughs> doing work things, and basically doing normal people stuff, which feels kind of weird uh, because I, I would say that if you're doing normal people stuff, you're not really doing much on the YouTube side of things. So it felt weird not doing YouTube things. Kind of, like every now and then while I was on a break, I'd be like, oh, I need to make a video. But then I remember it's like, oh wait, I'm taking a break. <laughs> so that would happen for a while. And I had to keep telling myself like, no, mister, go, go, go take a break. Don't do YouTube stuff. Stop editing, stop editing that video, right? Or stop recording that video. So that went on for a while and this also happened to be at a time where there were two conventions that were going to happen. So for those who don't know, I freaking love going to anime conventions, gaming conventions, you know, just convention related stuff. I, I love going to, to those things, especially anime conventions. So there was FanimeCon that I went to on Memorial Day weekend. That was a, a, a ton of fun. Just running around taking pictures of the cosplayers and they even had like a little car show uh, there with all the Itasha so that was a lot of fun getting pictures of them and you might see some on the video right now if you're interested and yeah so that was a lot of fun I actually came across a childhood friend that I haven't seen in over 10 years so it was it was pretty cool uh, reuniting with them and then there was Afkai Expo and this one yeah, so this one was interesting because, well, first of all, for those who don't know what Afkai Expo is, uh, this is a VTuber convention. And if you don't know what a VTuber is, it's basically, th think of it as like a person streaming, but instead of a person streaming, it's a avatar. So there's like a person behind a, I think they have some app or something like that where they control an avatar. So when they're streaming, you don't see the person, but you see their avatar. So yeah, so I, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I freaking love VTuber. <laughs> I can already imagine you guys being like, yo, this dude is freaking weird. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know, I'm weird. But yeah, I freaking love VTubers. Uh, I definitely do not spend too much time watching them. But, <laughs> but anyway, so the VTuber convention, I was like, yo, I'm gonna go run around and have a good time there. And what ended up, <laughs> it's so weird thinking about this now and now that I'm about to say it. So <laughs> during this convention, I swear, like, I don't know if you guys ever have those moments where something happens and you kind of think about it. You're like, yo, is that the universe trying to tell me something? That's kind of what happened to me at Afkai because what happened was that I was running around off Kai meeting all these VTubers and one thing I do want to know before I go on is that most of these VTubers they're not actually physically there when I'm meeting them if that makes sense like they're streaming as their avatar right and they're like on these screens or on little robots just roaming around the convention it's actually really cute if you think about it yeah but I was running around meeting them in these little robots or screens and actually talking to them and uh, getting to know them, which I mean, it was pretty cool. I mean, you guys are probably going to think that I'm freaking weird and yeah, I am weird. <laughs> but 
but when I was uh, meeting and talking to them, these VTubers had interest I once had interest in. So, there was one that likes to draw. I loved to draw when I was back in high school and that was maybe like 15 years ago. There was one VTuber that plays the violin. I used to play the violin like 15 years ago as well. <laughs> and then there was another one that recently got back into VTubing after taking a break. And I was like, yo, I'm actually taking a break from the things I was doing on YouTube. And it's just a really weird coincidence that I met these people and VTubers that have interests in things that I once loved to do back then. I mean, I would love to play the violin again. I would love to draw again. It's just that, and I, I guess, yeah, I, I actually don't remember why I stopped doing those things. But it'd be pretty cool to get back into doing them. And same with video editing. Like, I mean, I was taking a break, but I think that, like, those moments kind of made me rethink of, of what I want to do, if, if that makes sense. I don't know how to describe it uh, well enough, but I think that's, I don't know, it kind of like sparked the fire. Is like, I should probably do these things again. I should get back into doing these things again, but enter it with a different mindset, if that makes sense. This is like, do it for the love of the game, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, I think that's the best way to put it. Do it for the love of the game and not just Gran Turismo, right? Like do it for the love of playing the violin or do it for the love of drawing or do it for the love of recording, editing things, even, even if it ends up being a hot mess. Basically, just do it for the love of the game. <laughs> and I think I, yeah, initially I was thinking that I was going to be on a break for at least half a year or up to a year or even more. But, well, three weeks later, that, yeah, that ended up being a lie. <laughs> and, yeah, I, I think with that mindset, things will be all right. I mean, both in the YouTube stuff and in the real life stuff and maybe I won't be burned out maybe I'll keep that keep that burnout thing at bay so now leaves the question of what the heck am I gonna do with this channel and the other channel that I have so with this channel the Mist MC channel I'm still gonna make Grand Tunnel 7 videos but I think it's gonna be time for me to start making more commentary videos than lap guides because I mean I know you guys like the lap guides I've made over the past five years but I've mostly been doing that for five years and not really been doing much of anything else so I kind of want to start to switch things up if I could put a lap guide somewhere in that commentary video then cool that's awesome but if I can't, then I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I tried. So there'll be more commentary videos. I kind of did one with the the laptop challenge with the with the BMW McLaren F1, and that one was pretty fun to make. There wasn't really a lap guide. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I did a lap guide on that. But yeah, that video was fun to make. But again, if I could make a lap, if I could get a decent lap in, whether that's race pace or time trial and make a lap guide out of that and embed it within the commentary video itself, then cool. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll be more than happy to do that. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty damn rusty right now. So I don't know if I can get a, a good lap time right away or in a while. Let me get my pace back first. Because you've probably seen that I've been making a lot of mistakes in this race. Yeah, I'm pretty rusty. All right, so I need to uh, get myself back into the groove of things. And I'm going to make videos on other racing games as well. M I guess more specifically the more arcadey games. Because hardcore sims. I've tried ACC before. And 
I like it, but it's hard for me to stick with it, if that makes sense. Like, I remember, uh, I don't re remember when this was, but I remember trying it out a couple of times. And I was like, yo, this feels pretty cool. But for some reason, it was just really hard for me to continue playing it. I don't know why. Like, it was fine, but something with hardcore seems like ACC. Yeah, maybe this is not my cup of tea. I don't know. I know arcade racers. That's my jam because I've played arcade racers ever since I was little. Always loved them. Always will love them. So there'll be videos on that. I even have a video on Night Runners. It's just like a little meme video, well, meme-ish video uh, coming out tomorrow. So do look forward to that. I mean, it was just like a really quick edit because I just want to be a bit more creative with what I do. So I, th I think that was all I wanted to talk about for this channel. I know with Mista MCA, so that's my other channel that I still have yet to post a video on. I think I know what, what I want to do with it now. So that was basically, basically going to be an almost anything goes video where... I basically make videos on whatever the heck I want that's not relating to racing games. <laughs> I mean, I think I already have a couple ideas going around. So recently I bought some model kit cars because I used to love to make model kit cars. I found a couple and I want to try to see if I can record myself trying to make them. Hopefully not fail horribly <laughs> at making them and yeah, just make a video on that. And maybe vlog videos over the, over in that channel. Uh, see if anything interesting happens in whatever things I'm doing. Or if I want to make a video on something that is not car related, then it'll go over there. So, yeah. So that's so that's what I'm thinking about doing with Miss MCA. Miss MCA still GT7 stuff will still be a thing for the time being. Lap guys, not as much, but if I can, Im but if I can embed them into a commentary video, then I'd be more happy to do that. And other racing games, there's gonna be videos on that to, well, I guess spice things up. But yeah, it'd be a really nice change of pace. And I think that's all I wanted to say because it's already 12:26 in the morning over here. I need to go to sleep. I have to wake up for work in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If you have any questions, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I do need to be, uh, how, what was I going to say? I do, I do need to be more responsive right away because I've been developing a habit of forgetting to reply to people. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I need to work on that. But yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. And I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. But yeah, um, quite a few changes. And change can be scary, but it can also be pretty exciting. Uh, if you do uh, if you do stick with this channel, that's awesome. I'll see you in the next video. If not, you know, that, that's alright because you know, we all have different tastes. We all have different preferences. And thank you for your support over uh, the the past few months, days, weeks, years, however long you've been subscribed to or however long you've been watching my videos, I thank you for your support. I wish you the best. And if you want to come back, you'll know where to find me. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, take care, everyone. This is Mr. MCA, and I'll see you in the next video.